of the Shanghai Book Fair. The 12th annual Shanghai Book Fair is attracting a lot of public attention, and it's expected to be very crowded during the weekend. Now, Li Yijing was there today and brings us some of the highlights of the event. Now it's the lunchtime on the second day of the fair. The exhibition hall is still packed with people. Well, the event is way too big to see everything. So if you don't have the time in the world, here are a few booths you must make time for. At this year's book fair, electronic maps in each section of the exhibition tell you where each publisher is located and where you can buy the book you are looking for. I first made my way to the West Wing on the ground floor, where there are more than 10,000 imported English books. Among them, one third are new to China. One newcomer to the book fair this year is British publisher Penguin Random House. It has been working for years to promote Chinese stories in the West. Now, joining me is the managing director of Penguin Random House North Asia, Joe Lusby, who has been living here in China for over 16 years. Hi, Joe. So, tell us first, what has Random、uh, Penguin Random House done to promote Chinese stories to attract the international readers? Um, we began by buying Chinese books that we felt we could make su become successful internationally. These books are a mixture of classics. We publish writers like Lu Xun,、um, the great Chinese philosopher thinker. We have beautiful translations of *The Dream of the Red Mansion* and so on. Well, sales of books like *Wolf Totem* or an author like Mo Yen, who won the Nobel Prize,、um, have been very strong. They've been very good, and they're very exciting. I think many years ago, most of the stories that were popular and successful were foreigners writing about China. Foreigners would come, maybe as journalists or as diplomats, and then write about their experiences. I think as China becomes so much more visible on the world stage and so much a greater participant of what's happening internationally, people want to hear from Chinese voices, and they want to hear about the actual experience of Chinese people, not just the Western interpretation of those experiences. And so that's something we're very proud to participate in. This year, the Shanghai Book Fair is showing off audio books for the first time. Book lovers can come to the second floor of the East Wing to enjoy hundreds of audio books here. And I'm now listening to Pride and Prejudice. Establishment it would be for one of them, Sir William and Lady Lucas. Audio audio books are available for the public on a mobile app, and now I'm going to record a little of my little book. 你好，欢迎你好，来，请坐。好。Sitting beside me is the presenter of this little studio, and she's she's going to tell me how to make my own audio book. 你好，想问看我怎么可以读这本书？首先呢，要打开一款录音软件，然后呢，找到你想要录的内容，呃，对着我们的麦克风，还有利用你的耳机哈、啊，把它录成音频的格式上传到我们的 Apple 上。你可以看一下，现在在我们桌面上的这个哈、啊，是来自我们的录音软件，你可以尝试一下。来来，您啊，放几根果子，成功。您看可以吗？呃，我觉得您这风格比较适合娱乐节目。<笑>
so I have to size it. Oh, okay. And then we need to brush through the characters to make it stick onto the rice paper. And then with something heavy to make it stick it onto the rice paper with ink. And voila, this is the little publishing I made for myself. The Mona Type stand is on the west side of the second floor. This year's book fair is going high tech. You can now use WeChat to pay for thousands of books in the main hall. Other than paying for the books, you can also use your phone to scan the QR codes for discounts or lucky draws. And if your phone ever runs out of power, bring it to the free charging station that's scattered around the exhibition. And if you run out of energy, there are food stands in each section of the fair.